My name is Speak Menam Chinoso. Speak up, speak up. My name is Menam Chinoso. Sorry. Sorry. Menam Chinoso, where are you from? I'm from Imo State, Amir Obahazu. Amir Obahazu? Yes, sir. So where are you here? What happened? I'm here because I'm a member of IPOP at UAB. Yes, sir. So when did you join IPOP? It's almost a year and a you know. One year and a you know. So what has been your activities all this while? What have you been doing? No, I've been working with them before I travel. Then I entered IPOB, I traveled, came back last month. That last month I went to federal camp or see Togo. So I stayed there two weeks and before I came back. Then I was be arrested. Where were you arrested? One week and then. Where, 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 where? At my at village, Amiri. Amiri? Yes, sir. So what's your involvement with what happened uh, on Sunday? Yeah, on, on Sunday, we took officers to our new camp where they are camping. For raise, at your our voice. raise your voice. On Sunday, I took officers at our where ESM people are camping. So we went there, we killed many of them. Some ran away with bullets, even their commander ran away with bullets and we, we picked his phone and, and his machine. He ran away with bullets. Don't know whether he's dead or he's still alive. There is this story that they went for a, a, a traditional marriage before some group, you know, um, they alleged that a Bubago, a security outfit in the States, raided the place and uh, killed some of them, about, uh, about 14 of them. Uh, were you there when it happened? Yes, I'm there. We are in convoy with healers with one one big motor. So as we enter there along the road, just at that point, that that place they are capping, we saw them, JYC, Njaba and those guys, they are gathered there, they are machine parked by the side, they are drinking, they gather chair there. So we jump them there, then they start, we start shooting. You know, I just waited for that video to finish. So that many of you will listen to it. And let us put our Tenkong faculty on the table. Anybody who saw that video should know that this is a big lie from pit of hell. According to the young boy, he was a member of IPUB. He traveled and came back. He went to camp. This has left me to ask, does IPUB have camp? Does IPUB have camp? Because when you see all these leaders in Iboland trying to do everything possible to paint the people black, to turn the truth into lies, there's nothing they cannot do. But we have always detected them from the way they talk. And when you see someone lying, you always leave the dead. Unless you don't have wisdom that God has given to you. He traveled. He came back and went to IPOP's camp. According to him. Not Eastern Security Network camp. He's an IPOB member. He never told us he was an Eastern Security Network member. He claimed he was an IPOB member. And he traveled and came back and went to camp. A few days ago, he was arrested. And he was the one leading the so-called criminal-minded DSS. That's at Nathan innocent people. When I told you that he was a shameless, take it from me. I'm not trying to generalize here. But I have to say the things the way it is. How many Fulani Janja weed have you ever seen leading people to go and kill their brothers? We all know what they are for. They are terrorists in Nigeria. But how many of them have you ever seen leading police or soldier to go and kill the fellow terrorists like them. Talk less of innocent youth. Somewhere in Igbo land. Should we not gather again to discuss because we should be afraid of some 
crime là il de Boko Haram de coup tête menait très au DSS because we all, saw, we, all, we all know that all these DSS are all the good Boko Haram everywhere in Ibo land when something happens when you see people talking to the soldiers you will see that their language their grammar you all only find that they are from the north to see an Igbo soldier or to see a Raja Deta soldier the so called a job or to see even a Edo soldier it will be difficult for you or even your basuja because we know that they speak English friendly. It will be very difficult for you. This is because it's a wet related plan to reduce the population of Igbos. And some Igbos are adding them. Just like the one there. I don't know how much they gave him. Or maybe they have tortured him to say what he doesn't know about. Just like some of your leaders who are doing everything possible to air the, this criminal mind that the terrorist Janjaweed who call themselves presidency. Enough of all this nonsense. We should stop it now and the bush and go straight to the point. We all know that the Nigerian government today are terrorists. Even the former general, military general, Danjuma, said it. It's no longer a hidden story. So why should you be afraid of any unknown if you claim that you are something brutal? Come on, physical, let us face you. We are tired of all this uh, killing here and there, murdering innocent people. Look at how that idiot was lying. I don't know how much they paid him. This is the handwork of APC government. They have refused to accept their mistakes. This is why Nigeria is like this today. They will make mistakes. They will put the blame or shift the blame to someone else. That was how I saw one black monkey with his jaw very big. I don't know if he's a uh, hopeless demas. Uh, 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 whatever security whatever he was busy lying from the other side of his mouth these are the men who have destroyed the land bribe upon bribery once they come for money so far it's coming to their pocket they can lie against their ma ma mama these are the kind of people who have in Ibo land in the name of politicians and whatever you can think of is it not time to come out and tell these people that the enough is enough. When you listen to that video, you see that he was lying. Why is it that? If I may ask, why is it that he? The so called DSS easily key Ibo Youth and call them Easter Security Network. Who are even the sister security network? Are they not the same people protecting our land? That if the governors refuse to enact them in law, what is our hazard? This is because they are criminal governors. How can they enact something that they bring their leg out? That was why they refused to enact them in the law. Must we stop protecting our land because some them were buggers in the name of governors? Are doing everything possible to paint us black. That fool who was there lying against IPP, it shall never be well with you and your family. I curse you today for the lies you have come to lie. I don't know how you did it, if they bribe you or they, you were forced to do that. But the truth has to be told. Someone like me cannot be forced to do something like that. Is that I will die protecting that. That, that I, I believe that is doing the right thing. Every all of you who has come to lie against this noble organization, both the ones doing everything possible to frustrate the organization so that Mazinan the Kalu will remain in jail. All of you, you will die a shameful death. 
I will not be the one to kill you. And that way, IPB will be the ones to kill you, but you will die. You know why? Because you have caused a lot of problem in our land. APC has continued to use people to lie against our people every time. Any little thing, they will bring out somebody to come and lie. And when you see the way they are lying, some of them used to say, ah, I joined uh, Eastern Security Network uh, uh, 2017. When, in a nutshell, Eastern Security Network came out, was it not uh, 219 or something? Or 220? These are fake APC people doing everything possible to paint people black. Enough is enough, like I said. Anybody who reasons should know that these people are fake, doing everything possible to lie against innocent people that we are massacred in cold blood. And I heard that the mother of those boys are dead. Is dead. The youth of Imo State should not stop protesting. They should continue to protest because this is getting too much. Enough is enough. We cannot continue like this. I want you to concentrate on that video. Watch it. And you understand why I said that. The boy was lying. J. Biafra.